as a composer, yes. or do you have any heavy influences of you know, how you compose a film? I mean, something that helps you determine what works and what doesn't work. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I guess I guess you're always drawing on the films, the scores that you resonate with. Uh, I, yeah, I feel like there are certain composers that I probably uh, whose work I probably gravitate towards more, uh, and uh, and. Um, in a in a way of just being inspired by, not I think we're trying to be or trying to copy or anything like that. Right. Inspire, you know. Uh, and uh, you know, for this film um, in particular, you know, there was kind of aspects of it that um, were very uh, meditative. The school was very meditative, uh, and uh, was kind of less. Um, on the nose, for lack like of a better way of explaining it, it wasn't trying to be something. Character driven, um, uh, the, the, the music so, was you know, really, I think, emphasizing the ghost like aspect of but, the film. You know, we have and, elements, you know, uh, the movie is in many ways kind of like a ghost movie. I know that sounds kind of crazy because it is a western, but it is kind of like a. It's 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 not your your conventional uh, western. So we were trying to trying to make sure that the music kind of emphasised that this sense of like the character is always just a little bit off. He's come back from like this, he's come back from, from from being in the Civil War and it's kind of just like a little bit a little bit not quite right. And so the music's trying, is supposed to try to try to sort of emphasise that. Um, so uh, yeah, but I I. If I was to name a name, I'd say that maybe some of the work of Johnny Greenwood would have this kind that we have okay. very you know, this a little bit. Um, we we wanted it to be see the like not like just that. Um, not really heavy in the that, like, um, I wanted every single kind of Hollywood emotive kind of film, film music, but more kind of have the more kind of European bad, dry kind of you know uh, almost classical a little bit right. quality to it. So yeah. So you, uh, you know, I think every great so composer you know, probably yeah. has a mentor on yeah. some level. You know, John Williams with Henry Mancini and stuff. Have you? Do you have a mentor that kind of helps you start your career? As a composer, or as okay, so well, I worked a lot story, with. Um, um, I worked a lot with Terrence Malick, who's okay. a family and, and um, I think uh, uh, I love the music of his films. He really he helps me about two families. Music for him is so their ideology. And it, uh, it, it civil was really great. So most most ideology. composers would probably call on another composer, maybe. Right. Terry has been my my mentor. He's he's helped me to understand. The importance of music and the importance of the idea of family, the idea of not not just not just music, not just. He definitely he throws that whole score. Well, he'll throw out a whole score if it's not in line with what he's you know. And well, I mean, not since Kubrick is somewhat. You know, use classical music so well, I think, in a film, I mean, to really tell that story and, and make it work. So, I mean, I I totally agree with you on that. Um, and it's a great answer. I've never heard a composer talk about a filmmaker and their use of music compared to, you know, talking about another uh, composer. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, Obviously, Terrence Malick films and the Western you compose are different. What are your favorite types of films to compose music for? Taking action out of the system. Well, that's it. And you know, as long as the film has a dramatic, has a kind of a dramatic underline of what the film is, I don't really care. I'm kind of happy with the film. I don't really care. I really did. I enjoyed the challenge of working on it. More of my own working on a Christmas movie, uh, <laughs> which okay. is, you know, just is, is so different from uh, kind of raising uh, 
Other than Terrence Matlack, is there another one out there that inspires you? Well, I can't, I can't say my own movie because that would be really tough. Sure you can. And I wouldn't, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say that because I'd, it's not true. Um, if I was to, you know, a, a film that I still really resonate with, and I feel like... You force these tones and you write these tones and then you shoot with these tones. I, I, I really can't. It was a, 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 a Darren Aronofsky film, The Fountain. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. beautiful I remember, score. I remember seeing that movie, and I didn't like it when I first saw it. Right. And then I watched it again, and I was like, I'm getting kind of warmer, you know. I'm kind of liking it. A bit I was more. kind of the same way. Yeah. I mean, I, I had to watch it about three times to kind of like, okay, I, I get what you're saying, but the music, you know, just really drove that. It was absolutely. Yeah, it was and, that, and that is part of why I, yes, I kind of really did like it because I, I loved how. I just loved how these three worlds that he kind of had <laughs> when filming it, and how the music a lot of it comes out kind of connected into that, you know, like he used that really close mic string quartet during the um, the space traveler kind of stuff. Right. And that just kind of like was so like uh, uh, breathtaking to me. I was like, oh my goodness, like you can do this stuff. This is incredible, <laughs> you know. So yeah, I mean, there are there are loads of movies I connect with that that one for me though. It was at a time when I was really kind of open and I was really remember going and it's like wow right that really, yeah. really cool. it's great so, yeah. well congratulations yeah. on the film thank you uh, the world premiere thanks and have a great night thanks you too thank you thanks so much